Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to our worship this morning here in church and on Facebook. It's lovely to see such a lot of you here in church. We have space for you and uh, even spread out. And we had a good number at the earlier service too. So that says to me about how much people value um, this church and being together. And it's good that people can join us on Facebook as well. When you came into church this morning, you'll notice that we haven't turned the lights on. So it's looking a little bit darker. That's, that's why. And the reason for that is that uh, not, we're, we're not saving on the, the lighting bills. We're going to start our service with lighting our Easter candle and then lighting the rest of the candles and the lights in church to mark the new light that comes at Easter time. So uh, this will be on the screen and hopefully you'll be able to see us in, on Facebook as well as we light our Easter candle. I'm going to go with him. No, no, you stay there. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power, through every age and forever. Amen. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the awesome power of God as we hear his word and proclaim all that God has done we can be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. A very warm welcome to you all, especially if this is your first time here in St. Mary's. It is good to have you all here together today for this special service for Easter Day. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
the collect for this Easter day. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Please sit for our first reading. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak to those assembled in the house of Cornelius. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. How he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear. Not to all the people but to us, who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines stained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all the faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early, on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sustainer. Amen. Please sit down. There's a quote up on our screens, which you won't be able to see on Facebook, so I'll read it out for you. You might just be able to see it. It says, Christmas is important, but Easter is decisive. Christmas is important, but Easter is decisive. So, I can't ask you to call out here in church Although, if anybody knows the answer to this who's joining us on Facebook, they could type it in the comments and we could see if they're right. Um, what I want you to tell me, or to think about, is who do you think said this? Who do you think said this? Christmas is important, but Easter is decisive. Could have been an archbishop, a pope, could have been, um, I don't know, some famous preacher or theologian or something or it could have been somebody completely different i wonder if you know who it is i won't ask you to call out but if you think you know just put up your hand now okay <laughs> there are three people at the back of church who are basically cheating because they were here at the earlier service so they know but apart from them anybody on facebook no idea, no idea. Okay, so it was Arsene Wenger. Now, um, quite a lot of you hopefully will know who that is. Uh, he, he was the manager of Arsenal Football Club. A, a very good manager, a manager for a long time, more than most managers last. So yeah, Arsene Wenger said that. Now, um, Arsene Wenger is uh, a man of faith. There's a lovely little story of um, when Leeds were playing Arsenal um, at Ellen Road. I think it must have been a cup match because they wouldn't have met in the league. So uh, they met up, and this is a little while ago. And uh, the Arsenal team was staying at Alton Hall Hotel, which at that stage was the only five star hotel in Leeds. So, of course, big premiership football team that's where they're going to stay so they were staying there and in the grounds of Alton Hall Hotel is St John's Church which is the parish church for Alton so uh, there they were staying overnight and in the morning before the match Arsene Wenger popped in to St John's Church just quietly to pray and I think that's a lovely story about somebody who was um, 
a very well-known and busy person, but making that time to pray. So he was clearly a man of faith who knew about Christmas and about Easter. Now, it could have been, I have to admit, he could have been talking about the football season. Okay, because in the football season, Christmas is important, but Easter is decisive. And if you want to talk more about that, we can do that after the service. But he could have been talking about Christmas and Easter as we know it, because that is absolutely true of this time of the year. What we celebrate today makes all the difference to us, to our life, to our church, to our faith. Easter makes the difference. Not that you would know that from the Gospel reading that I read a moment ago from Mark's Gospel, because it ends with the women being terrified and amazed and afraid and saying nothing to anybody of what they'd seen at the tomb. Not the usual reading that we have at Easter time, but I'm actually quite glad that we had this one today. I have to say that this was the original end of Mark's Gospel, which was the shortest Gospel written first, and it ended very abruptly there with the amazement and terror and not really understanding what had happened at Easter. Somebody added on some verses because it was a bit too abrupt, and they told the stories of how uh, Jesus appeared to the disciples afterwards and how they came to believe in the resurrection. But the reading we have today is the original ending, and it just ends really, really abruptly. And as I say, I think that that's quite fitting for this year, this year of all years. Because this year that we've been through has been such a hard one, hasn't it? Such a difficult one for all of us in many ways. Last Easter, we weren't able to be here in church. I think this Easter Sunday was the first time that Andrew and I did a, a service on Facebook at, from home. Um, I haven't been back to look at the video, goodness knows what it was like. But uh, we weren't able to come together to celebrate Easter and there was a real pain to that, which is why it's so good to be able to come back today. So a bit of me feels that I'm not ready yet to celebrate Easter, not quite, or at least I'm ready to celebrate Easter, but I'm certainly not ready to put behind me all the pain and suffering of the last year, all the fear and difficulty that people have been through, all the challenge of this past year. I'm not ready to put it all behind me and just to move on from it and celebrate freedom and joy. It just feels like we have a way to go before we can do that. And that's certainly the message from the government, isn't it? We still have restrictions. We still have to have two services to fit everybody in. You still have to wear face masks. You still have to sit and keep your distance from each other. We can't sing here inside church as we would like to. We aren't ready to move on. And that's certainly the message that's come out this weekend from the government telling people not to gather and, you know, not to give up on the restrictions yet. We still need to keep people safe. The vaccine rollout is happening very well, as certainly lots of you will know. And, um, but we're still not there yet. We still need to be careful. And certainly around the world, that is definitely the case. It took time for those women in the Gospel reading and for the disciples and other followers of Jesus to understand the resurrection, to believe in it. It took them time. In time, the joy of Easter became stronger than the despair of Good Friday. But it took time. In time, these women, the disciples, will emerge from that despair, but they will emerge changed and shaped 
by what they've been through, by all their experiences. As we will emerge from this COVID crisis, changed and shaped by all we've been through, it will lead them to share the good news of Jesus, his love for everybody, a love which is stronger than death, forgiveness and new life. It will lead them to share all of that. And it will also lead them to grow and to build the church. And so that church can spread right the way throughout the world. But it will take time for that to happen. But they will emerge and they will do that. And it must and it will be the same for us. We will emerge from this crisis as a church to know and to share Christ's love, to grow and build his church. Their task is our task. So, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We turn now to our prayers of intercession and Audrey is going to lead us in those prayers with a little help, I think. I need the help of a few children. Me. Do you want to help? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'll tell you They're not speaking. Okay. They're not speaking. You stand there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you stand here. Yeah. Right, stay there. No, face, face, everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. I take this, this okay. Don't, don't eat it, Edward. You can have to keep your inner social distance, okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is really good to have the children, to see the children back in church. And uh, for a whole year now, we haven't been able to have Sunday school, little birds meeting. And it's hard to say when we can have that again. Um, as long as we have two services, it is very hard for all the children to be in one service. So I thought today, since there are a few of them in church, I will uh, involve them in our prayers. And it's going to be an interactive prayer. So you pray with your eyes wide open instead of praying with your eyes closed. Yeah. The joy of Easter is the Easter egg. Yeah. Especially the children. They love an Easter egg. And it's golden, it's shiny, it's tempting. So for our first thing, we are going to thank God for all these good things. We thank God for loving us and for giving us Jesus who died and rose again for us. We thank God for the people around us who loved us and cared for us. And we thank God for the joy of friendship and fellowship in our schools, in our homes, for all the phone calls, for all the door knock visits during this pandemic. So we thank God for the glory 
and the joy of Easter. Lord, in your mercy. This Easter egg, if it's just like this, is not of any use because it's meant to be eaten. And the, the other thing we have to do is, how do you get to the egg? Is to break the seal. Yeah? Break the seal. And what do you do with this cover? Recycle or whether it's recycled or whatever, you put it in the bin. You put it in the bin. So when you put the recycling for the paper into the bin, pray for those who often feel they are rejected, useless by family, friends and society. Remember those who felt left out and hopeless. Lord, in your mercy, Hear what's the next thing to do? Eat it. Before you eat it, break it. Yeah? So, we have broken the Easter egg so that we can eat it later. And I have to tidy up and sanitize later. <laughs> so, we pray for all those who feel broken by oppression, by warfare, by poverty. We remember especially at this time the people of Myanmar. Uh, we have received quite a few uh, messages from Mother's Union in Myanmar about the difficulties they face. You know, their internet and everything got cut off and have lost touch with the outside world and all the, uh, the deaths that are occurring in the country. So we remember Myanmar. And then Syria, the war has been going on for so long. And recently in Ethiopia, in the Tigray region, and also the poverty in Yemen. We pray for those who are broken by illness and by pain. We pray for those broken by loneliness, anxiety, fear, and grief. Lord, in your mercy, the next thing is to eat it. Yeah. The next thing is to eat it. Those of you who like dark chocolate will find it a little bit uh, bitter, a little bitter. And this is sweet. So slight, full of bitterness and sweetness. So for those who feel rejected, we pray that the love of God will give them the confidence and the assurance that they are valued and accepted and they are equal in God's sight. For those broken by oppression, warfare and poverty, we pray for mercy and the abundance of God's grace and a peace that passes all understanding. And for those broken by illness and pain, we pray for healing and comfort. And for those who are lonely, anxious, sad and fearful, we pray for the love of the risen Lord to surround them and comfort them. And the hope of resurrection as an assurance to them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, children. Thank you. Do they get to keep the eggs, Audrey? Oh, yes, they keep the eggs. <laughs> Don't you wish you were all taking part in the prayers now?
If you are able, please stand to share the peace. And Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us make the sign of peace to each other. Thanks to the Lord our God. Almighty God, good Father to us all, your face is turned towards your world. In love you gave us Jesus your Son to rescue us from sin and death. Your word goes out to call us home, to the city where angels sing your praise. We join with them in heaven's song. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father of all, we give you thanks for every gift that comes from heaven. To the darkness, Jesus came as your light. With signs of faith and words of hope, he touched untouchables with love and washed the guilty clean. This is his story. This is our song. Hosanna in the highest. The crowds came out to see your son, yet at the end they turned on him. On the night he was betrayed, he came to table with his friends to celebrate the freedom of your people. This is his story. This is our song. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus blessed you, Father, for the food. He took bread, gave thanks, broke it and said, This is my body given for you all. Jesus then gave thanks for the wine. He took the cup, gave it to them and said, This is my blood shed for you all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. This is our story. This is our song. Hosanna in the highest. Therefore, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate the cross on which he died to set us free. Defying death, he rose again and is alive with you to plead for us and all the world. This is our story. This is our song. Hosanna in the highest. Send your spirit on us now, that by these gifts we may feed on Christ with opened eyes and hearts on fire. May we and all who share this food offer ourselves to live for you and be welcomed at your feast in heaven, where all creation worships you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Please sit or kneel as we come to the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia! All are welcome to come when I come to the front to receive uh, the bread of communion if you would like to do so just follow everybody else all are welcome to receive
Let us pray. God of life, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection have delivered us from the power of our enemy, grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his risen life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our final blessing this morning. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.